Robotiers, stand by. Ooh, Jules, you tease. The King B3 on the right, Atomic on the left. King B3, we know it has a problem. They know it has a problem. It catches fire, Atomic. I didn't tell you, boys, OK? Three, two, one. Activate. King B3 steering away from trouble. Don't forget it has the circular saw and the lifting flipping spikes, but the Atomic always have that flipper blade at the front. <laughs> Immediately levering King B3 into the air. The spikes, though, will come into play to test that uh, shell of Atomic. It's made from scrap aluminium. Dead metal comes out of the CPZ, the corner patrol zone. Now, you go in there and the house robots can attack you. So don't go in there. Why would you? Well, no robot is. They don't quite know what they're going to do. Atomic on the attack, certainly. Pushing King B3 into that CPZ. Ooh, there's Kilolot. And off comes the flipping blade of Atomic. Slam into the arena wall. Buckled and bent and broke. And is now surely defenceless to the attack. It certainly can't cause major damage. In comes Ref to have a closer look. And there's the Ref Cam. Well, that's the best form of attack I would have thought now for Atomic to get in underneath. Is that smoke I can see for King B3? Are they in trouble? Two of the wheels are working, but two aren't. I think they're immobilised. I think that smoke... And Yes, it is. They are immobilised. That's why Killerlock can come in, look. Out of the CPZ, he's sensed an immobilised robot is there for the kill. And the pit slowly comes into view. <laughs> well, that is where B3 is heading. King B3, not to a crown, but to the pits of despair. Once again, into smoke and oblivion.